when Apple quietly rolled out two mysterious acronyms, ASAF and APAC, in 2025, most people didn't think much of it. It sounded like just another technical update, something only audio engineers would care about. But after exploring Apple's developer tools, documentation, and the new Vision Pro ecosystem, it became clear that this update is far more important. These two technologies could completely change how sound behaves across Apple's entire ecosystem, from your iPhone and MacBook to your AirPods and Vision Pro. They don't just move sound around your head, they make it smarter, more adaptive, and more consistent everywhere. ASAF stands for Apple Spatial Audio Format, and APAC stands for Apple Positional Audio Codec. You can think of them as two parts of the same system. ASAF is how Apple creates and defines spatial audio. It's the brains that tell your device where sound should come from and how it should behave. APAC is the messenger that delivers that information efficiently to your device, compressing and packaging all the 3D data into something small enough to stream, but powerful enough to sound real. Before this, most of Apple's spatial sound experiences were built on Dolby Atmos. Atmos is impressive. It lets engineers place sounds around you in 3D, but it's mostly fixed. Once a sound is placed in a position, it stays there. When you move your head, the sound field moves with you, but it doesn't adapt in real time to your environment. ASAF changes that. It's dynamic. It reacts live to how you move, what device you're using, and where you are. The same track might sound subtly different on an iPhone, a Mac, or the Vision Pro, because ASAF lets each device re-render the mix to fit the listener and the environment. In ASAF, every sound carries metadata about where it lives in 3D space, how far away it is, how much echo it should have, and what happens when it's blocked by an object. That means if something is supposed to be behind a wall or under a table in a movie, you'll actually hear it behave that way. It supports both object-based audio, where each sound is treated individually, and ambisonics, which describes sound fields that can wrap around the listener. It's like a 3D map for sound that your device constantly recalculates as you move. APAC is the part that delivers this data. It's the format that takes all the positional information from ASAF and compresses it without losing the important details. It's also built for compatibility, so if you play an ASAF-based track on a device that doesn't support full spatial rendering, APAC just falls back to Adobe Atmos or Stereo Mix. You won't get errors or weird audio drops. The experience will simply adjust. Apple's new immersive video tools already require ASAF and APAC. When you use Apple's immersive video utility to make a 3D video, the software demands that the audio be imported as ASAF or at the very least as stereo, so it can automatically convert it to APAC. That's because Apple wants every immersive project to sound consistent on any Apple device. Whether you watch it on an iPhone, Mac, or Vision Pro, the sound behaves exactly as the creator intended. On the iPhone 17, ASAF and APAC mean that immersive sound will play natively with no need for conversion. The phone can decode APAC directly, rendering spatial sound with full detail. Because iPhones already support head tracking and spatial audio, this feels like a natural evolution. For creators, it also opens the door to recording more detailed sound. The latest iPhones already use advanced microphone arrays and connected AirPods to record spatial cues. While Apple hasn't officially confirmed full ASAF recording, the direction is obvious. Eventually, you'll shoot video on your phone and have spatial sound baked right in, ready to edit or share without needing any extra gear. On the MacBook, the story is more about creation and production. With the power of Apple's M-series chips, Macs can handle real-time rendering of complex ASAF audio projects. Tools like Logic Pro and Final Cut Pro will let creators drag sounds around a 3D workspace, adjust how they move, and hear instant feedback. Once finished, the Mac can export the final project as an APAC file that's optimized for playback on iPhone and Vision Pro. 
Even if you're just watching a video or listening to music on a Mac, the new audio formats make a difference. When paired with AirPods Max or AirPods Pro, you'll notice a more open, natural soundstage, one that feels closer to what you'd hear in real life. But the Vision Pro is where these technologies truly shine. Vision Pro's array of sensors can track your head, eyes, and the environment around you, and ASAP uses that data to place sounds precisely in 3D space. If something in your virtual environment moves behind you or goes behind a wall, the sound reacts, muffling, echoing, or fading naturally, just like in the real world. Because Vision OS requires immersive video and apps to use APAC, all the content designed for it will take advantage of ASAP's adaptive rendering. This makes experiences far more believable because the audio feels like it exists inside the world around you instead of just inside your headphones. For everyday users, the biggest difference will be consistency and realism. When you switch between devices, watching a show on your iPhone, then picking it up later on your Mac, then finishing it in Vision Pro, the audio will sound consistent. You won't have to adjust volume or get used to a different sound signature. Everything will feel connected. Movies and shows will sound deeper and clearer, but not necessarily louder. The detail in the background will feel more natural, like the sound is coming from a real place rather than being stuck to your screen. Games will benefit even more with spatial cues that let you hear exactly where footsteps, gunfire, or ambient effects are coming from. Even music could change as Apple Music gradually adopts ASAP-based playback, allowing for more realistic mixes where instruments and voices sit naturally in space. Performance-wise, ASAP and APAC are built to run efficiently, Apple's A-series and M-series processors have built-in neural and audio engines designed for real-time spatial processing. That means you get high-quality 3D sound without killing your battery or overheating your device. And if your device isn't capable of full ASAP rendering, APAC automatically provides a compatible fallback, whether that's Dolby Atmos or standard stereo. If you compare this new system to Dolby Atmos, the difference becomes clear. Atmos places sounds in a 3D bubble and moves the whole bubble around your head as you move. ASAF takes it further by recalculating sound in real time, so the environment itself feels alive. In other words, Atmos is static. ASAF is interactive. The sound doesn't just move, it responds. For creators, ASAF and APAC make life easier. You can mix once and know your project will sound good on every Apple device. You can record spatial audio, edit it visually in 3D, and publish it for playback on iPhone, Mac, or Vision Pro without worrying about conversions. For users, the transition is seamless. You won't have to learn anything new or change settings. You'll just start noticing that sound feels more natural, more present, and more emotionally real. This move fits perfectly with Apple's long-term vision for immersive computing. The Vision Pro introduced spatial computing visually, but sound is just as important for immersion. Your brain uses audio cues to understand space even when your eyes are closed. By introducing ASAF and APAC, Apple is making sure that future experiences aren't just visually impressive, they're sonically believable. Over time, this will spill into everything Apple does. Apple TV Plus shows, Apple Music tracks, even FaceTime calls could all start using ASAF-style rendering. Imagine being on a call where each person's voice comes from a different direction, or watching a live concert where the sound changes depending on where you stand. These are the kinds of experiences ASAF and APAC make possible. You might not notice the technical details, but you'll definitely feel the difference. Audio will feel richer and more grounded as if it belongs in the same space as you. When you move your head, the sound moves naturally. When you turn around, you hear the world behind you. It's subtle, but once you experience it, everything else will sound flat by comparison. Apple's approach has always been about combining simplicity with deep technology. ASAF and APAC are perfect examples of that. You'll never see these names in a marketing banner or hear them mentioned in an ad, but they're quietly transforming the foundation of Apple's audio experience. Whether you're listening to a podcast, editing a film, or exploring an AR world, you'll be surrounded by sound that understands where you are and how you move. So if you own an iPhone 17, a MacBook, or Vision Pro, you're already part of this shift. ASAF and APAC will work quietly in the background, making everything sound more natural and immersive without you even realizing it. You won't need to switch modes or download updates. It's all built in. The sound simply adapts to you, not the other way around. In the end, ASAF and APAC aren't just new audio formats. They're Apple's way of teaching sound how to behave intelligently. It's about taking the flat, static sound of the past and turning it into something alive. Sound that knows where you are, what you're doing, and how to make your experience feel real. Once you hear it done right, there's no going back. Ordinary audio will start to feel like watching a movie with the sound off. 
And that's when you'll realize Apple hasn't just upgraded sound, it's redefined it. Comment if you have already experienced ASAF with the Apple Vision Pro and share your thoughts. Like and subscribe for more audio-related content.